Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com and I'm here to help you understand the IELTS band score system. This marking system is the method used to calculate your overall exam grade. The good news is that you can't fail the IELTS exam. Results are graded from 1 to 9. 1, the lowest level, indicates that someone knows just a few isolated words of English. The highest possible score is 9. To achieve this, you need to be fluent in the English language. Each part of the test, writing, speaking, reading and listening, is given an individual score. So your overall exam result will be made up of a score for each of these parts and an overall score. The overall band score is the average of the four individual scores. Pause the video and study these examples. Note that if the average of the four individual scores ends in 0.25, the overall IELTS score will be rounded up to the next half band, as in the first two examples. If it ends in 0.75, the overall score will be rounded up to the next whole band. This is the case in the third example. For some people, both the individual scores and the overall band score are important. This will depend on the purpose for which you're taking the IELTS exam. For example, a university will typically require an overall band score of 6.5 with no component less than 5.5. If you're taking IELTS for a university application, be aware that requirements differ between universities and even between different courses at the same university. So, always double check what score is required. Now I'll give you a little more detail on how each of the four parts is scored. We'll start with the listening test. The listening test contains 40 questions. One mark is awarded for each correct answer. This is your raw score. This score out of 40 is then converted to the IELTS 9 band scale. So if, for example, you get a raw score of 30 for correct answers, you'll be awarded band score 7. There can be slight variations depending on how difficult the test is, so beware when calculating your band score for practice tests if you want to assess how well you're doing. Next, the reading test. This also contains 40 questions, with one mark awarded for each correct answer to give your raw score. As with the listening test, a table is then used to calculate the band score. The conversion table on this slide is for the academic reading test. The average number of marks required to achieve a particular band score for the general reading test is slightly different to this. Usually, it's necessary to answer a greater number of questions in the general test correctly to gain a given band score than on the academic reading test. This is because the academic test is likely to contain text of greater complexity and which contain more difficult vocabulary. If you want to see the table for general reading, go to my IELTS band score webpage. I've put a link in the notes below this video. Again, conversions may vary slightly depending on the difficulty of the text used on different occasions. Now for the writing test. The writing test has two parts. It's marked by an examiner who awards a band score based on these four criteria. Task achievement and response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, that's vocabulary, and grammatical range and accuracy. Each criterion carries equal weight. An average is taken of the four scores to give the overall band score. Task 1 in the academic and general writing tests are different, but both are marked in the same way using the same criteria. Task 1 academic is a report on a map, graph, diagram or process while Task 1 General involves writing a letter. Task 2 for both tests 
is to write an essay on a topic of general interest, although you can use a slightly more informal style in the general exam. Finally, the speaking test. This is a short interview with the examiner. Similar criteria are applied to the speaking test as for the writing test, and the band score is calculated in the same way. The four criteria are fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and pronunciation. Each holds 25% of the marks, and the overall band score is a total of each divided by four. In other words, the average. So that's how the band score system works. Your band score is designed to provide an accurate assessment of your level of proficiency in all four aspects of English, writing, speaking, reading and listening. This can then be used by various institutions to help them decide if you'll be able to study, work or live successfully in the country to which you're applying. If you want to understand the band score scale in more detail, pause the video and spend a few minutes studying the table of descriptors on this slide and the next one. Here's the second part of the table. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Two common questions about the band score are what happens if I don't get the band score I need? And what should I do if I think my exam has been marked incorrectly? I answer both these questions on my website ielsjackie.com. I put the link to the page in the notes below. I've also created a video covering them, which you'll find on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.